Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And a very good afternoon. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is a pleasure to be here at the 62nd International Statistical Institute, ISI, World Statistic Congress, 2019, this afternoon. It is truly an honor and a milestone for Malaysia to be hosting this prestigious international event for the very first time since the first ISI WSC 132 years ago. I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate the organizers and welcome everybody to this Congress. <clears throat> the word statistics may sound irrelevant to some people, but the truth is statistics play an important role in our daily lives. Statistics connects us to what is happening around us and it helps us make good decisions and lead better lives. Going back as far as the 17th century, statistics has been used by rulers and kings in the administration of the state. Birth and deaths were counted to estimate the number of population, revenue of taxations, trades and agriculture were calculated to estimate national income and ultimately the wealth of the state. This in turn was used for allocation of resources. More importantly, statistics were used to assess the strength of the country and formulate defense strategies in times of war. Centuries later, statistics have evolved and advanced as a scientific field that has led to the era of evidence-based policies. The tools of statistical inquiry continue to transform these services with new, enlightened, knowledge-based decision-making. I have been informed that the International Statistical Institute World, World Statistics Congress 2019 with the theme Come, Connect, Create and Brought Together 2,500 delegates from approximately 130 countries. I believe this is the best platform. <laughs> this is the best platform for Malaysian and international parties to share insights on development and statistical science and to advance the application of statistics for discovery, innovation, and decision-making. By hosting a Congress of this scale, I'm certain it will create interest not just with private or government entities, but also academic institutions. We want to challenge young in our country to understand and grasp the importance of statistics in imparting knowledge. We want them to understand that in order to shift Malaysia successfully as a leader in the digital economy, we need young minds to connect with people, businesses, devices, and data and processes. Ladies and gentlemen, with information flooding in from various sources, it is paramount, of paramount importance to have a reliable, relevant, and timely source for decision-making, evaluations and assessment at different levels. The goal of statistical organizations is to produce relevant, objective, and accurate statistics of quality and integrity to keep users well informed and further assist in effective policies and decision making. This will ensure 
and effective check and balance system. This is practiced globally where statistics plays a vital role in making the world a better place by analyzing, anal analyzing and ensuring the integrity of data for countless individuals, businesses, and government organizations. For example, Statistics Norway distributes statistical software to distressed countries, including Eritrea, Albania, and Uganda, to help them analyze population, housing, and income data. These developing nations can then analyze data, map the results, identi identify people's most pressing needs, and share the resulting information with government and non-governmental organizations to better target assistance. Closer to home, spatial and statistical methodologies were developed to integrate multiple factors and measure the hazard, vulnerability, and risk of tsunami hazard in Indonesian regions and provinces using previous map-based data of Kuta and Sanur in Bali, Lombo and Aceh in Indonesia. This is not only to be aware, this is not only to be aware and prepare for it, for, for uh, if and when another disaster hits, but also to create disaster mitigation plan and as inputs for long-term town planning strategies. During my previous tenure as the Prime Minister of Malaysia, when we were hit by the 1997 financial crisis, we decided not to seek IMF's assistance as we wanted the option of determining our own policies. The government was able to maintain socially oriented policies such as controls on the prices of some essential consumer items and subsidies on a few consumer items. We were able, also able to maintain the policies on privatization and on the and on the extent and rate of financial and trade liberalization. The National Economic Action Council, or NEAC, was formed to take charge of the economic crisis management. Eventually, it was the NEAC that drew up an alternative medium-term strategy to deal with the crisis. It also intensely mo monitored all aspects of the economy and made decisions on a day-to-day -day basis. This proof that official statistics played an in integral part as a monitoring tool in helping to stabilize this crisis. I cannot stress enough on how important the role of statistics is in national development. Statistics and population and demography, education, health, public safety, communication and recreation are used to monitor the nation's quality of life and well-being. The statistics of GDP, inflation rate, poverty, income inequality and gross national income per capita are used to gauge the economic performance and the national wealth. Ultimately, these statistics are vital for implementing the shared prosperity approach to ensure the income gap and people's wealth would be looked into to create a more structured, progressive, knowledge-based and high-value economy. And to ensure Malaysia becomes an important economic axis in Asia. Since its inception in 1949, the National Statistical System, led by the Department of Statistics Malaysia, continues to serve as the national statistics provider. Besides the conventional ways of collecting data through 
census and through census and surveys. The national statistical system has embarked on tapping data from the administrative sources through data sharing arrangements between agencies. The uses of statistics have evolved from the development of blueprint and policies to, ev to every walk of life. As the statistical system celebrates its 70th, 70th year of existence in Malaysia, I urge all of you to continue to push boundaries and move forward to be at the forefront of the world's statistical system. Developing new statistical methods cannot be done in a vacuum. As motivation, you need a connection with the actual issues that arise in real application areas. Global politics, demographic and socio-economic landscapes have changed rapidly, brought about by the dig digital revolution. This has witnessed the transformation of the global economy at breakneck speed. The pillar of the digital economy is the increasing interconnectedness of people, organizations, and machines that result from the internet, mobile technology, and the internet of things. The emergence of the digital economy has forever altered the conventional ways of how businesses are structured, how firms interact, and how consumers obtain services, information, and goods. This includes, but not, is limited, not limited to the fourth industrial revolution, which entails automation of work processes, artificial intelligence, and digitally enabled manufacturing, distribution, and warehousing platforms. This also poses new changes to the statistical community to harness the potential of digital revolutions and identify opportunities to further strengthen and enhance the national statistical system. A smart way to respond to these challenges is by exploring and taking up big data analytics with all its potentials. Not only does big data analytics feature volumes, velocity and variety, but also another significant aspect is value. Moving from the usual methods of compiling data to adopting big data analytics will ensure the statistical system produces more relevant, timely, and cost-effective products and services. The national statistical system has ventured into big data analytics in selected areas, including price and merchandise trade statistics. These initiatives should be commented, befitting of its role as a national statistical office, which is data-driven by nature. It is timely for the Department of Statistics Malaysia to take up the lead in big data analytics with assistance and cooperation from all the ministries, agencies, and statutory bodies in Malaysia. Ladies and gentlemen, more data professionals who can understand massive and complicated data through various statistical and information and communication technology skills are needed. The demand, <coughs> the demand for these highly, highly qualified talents is growing exponentially as government and private businesses reform processes to involve analytical and predictive insights. Accordingly, a strategic investment is crucial in enhancing the research and analytical capability within our country, especially among the national 
statistical community. Another challenge that can be observed these days is the notable global demographic shift. The world population has expanded from 3.7 billion in 1970 to approximately 7.7 .7 billion this year. It is pro projected to further increase to 9.2 billion by 2040. Malaysia, like many other countries, is part of this transition where the population grew from 10.9 million in 1970 to 32.7 million in 2019. The share of aging population aged 65 years and over has increased steadily since the 1970s, and the number is expected to triple from 2.2 million today to more than 6 million by 2040. Along with these changes, the social backdrop has also evolved. In this regard, everybody should be on board the Population and Housing Consensus 2020 as the ultimate source of data on population, demography, and social well-being. Beyond population count, the census aims to provide granular social indicators to facilitate the design and development of policies, programs, and the necessary infrastructures. Finally, in keeping with the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, the global economies are geared towards emphasizing the five Ps of people, planet, prosperity, peace, and partnership. Malaysia is committed to achieve the 17 Sustainable Development Goals that has been set and is mobilizing efforts with other countries to, to end all forms of poverty, to fight inequalities, and to tackle climate change, while ensuring that no one is left behind. As such, it is important that we create an ideology that represents unity, sharing, and adding value to each other. Countries must form a partnership regardless of economic standing, so globally we can overcome the challenge, challenges we face, including those related to poverty, inequality, climate, environmental degradation, in order to achieve prosperity and peace and justice in line with the Sustainable Development Goals. At this point, the prominent role as a focal point in the coordination of the development of Sustainable Development Goals indicators in Malaysia is taken up by the Department of Statistics Malaysia. All these challenges underscore data and statistics as the fuel that drives decision-making. It enables the use of a scientific approach to investigate all the available evidence in formulating effective and target-specific policies and programs. Statistics provide evidence which are necessary to improve decision-making, document results, and also enhance public accountability. Consequently, this will benefit the well-being of the nation and the economic growth of the country. Statistics is impartial and it is colorblind. It provides truth and does not side with any parties. Therefore, it plays an important role in validating findings and guiding policy decisions. As integrity and ethical principles are vital for the profession of statistics, it is the responsibility of the statistical community to uphold these principles and ensure statistics are not twisted or misinterpreted for personal gains. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm confident that hosting the 62nd International Statistical Institute World Statistics Congress 2019 
will put Malaysia at the forefront of the international statistical fraternity. This event is the best platform to converge statistical knowledge at both regional and national levels. Let us leverage on the expertise of each and everyone in this Congress and work towards enhancing the field of statistical science for peace, progress and prosperity of the global community. I hope you have an enjoyable and productive session at the con Congress. We are also getting ready for Visit Malaysia Year 2020, a landmark campaign that is targeted to bring in at least 30 million international tourists to the country next year. In order to achieve these figures by 2020, we are taking the necessary steps to stay competitive and committed in changing trends to make Malaysia attractive to visitors. To all delegates and participants of this Congress, I urge you to take some time to experience our beautiful country and to promote it further when you get back home. On that note, I hereby, I hereby officiate the 62nd International Statistics Institute World Statistics Congress 2019. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed the rest of the evening.